Imagine this, you drop a rock into a lake, plop, it sinks instantly. Now imagine a massive chunk of ice, like Titanic-sized. You'd think it would go straight to the bottom too, right? Nope, icebergs float like they own the place. But how does that make any sense? And isn't that just water in solid form? Why does one sink and the other chill at the surface like it's sunbathing? Let's break it down with science and a splash of humor. Here's the simple version. Whether something sinks or floats depends on density. How much stuff is packed into a certain amount of space? Rocks are made of tightly packed minerals. They're super dense. Ice, on the other hand, is frozen water, and it's less dense than liquid water. When water freezes, it forms a crystal structure that spaces out the molecules. That makes ice about 9% less dense than liquid water. So, when an iceberg hits the ocean, it's like, later suckers, and floats. Wait, so ice expands. When it freezes, yup, that's why your water bottle explodes in the freezer. Most substances shrink when they freeze, but water is weird. Its molecules lock into a structure that takes up more space. That expansion is what lets ice float, and also what wrecks your ice cube tray when you overfill it. The average iceberg weighs 100,000 to 200,000 tons. That's like 15,000 elephants stacked on top of each other. And yet, 90% of it is underwater. What you see above the surface is just the tip, literally. Which brings us to the most misused metaphor in the world. It's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, while well, the rest of that thing could sink a cruise ship. Ask the Titanic. So why do rocks sink no matter what? Rocks are dense, like really dense. Even the lightest rocks are still much denser than water. Unlike ice, they don't trap air, they don't expand, and they don't care. They just fall, straight down, every time. Even pumice, a rock full of holes, might float for a bit, but eventually it gets waterlogged and gives up. Some materials can float even if they're solid, if they're shaped right. A solid steel ship floats because it's hollow inside, which spreads its weight over a larger volume. An ice cube floats because it's naturally less dense than the liquid around it. But a steel cube? That's going down. Fast. So, shape and structure matter, but ice doesn't even need a special design. It just is floaty. What if the oceans were made of something else? Let's get weird for a second. If Earth's oceans were made of oil instead of water, ice would sink. Why? Because oil is less dense than water, and ice is denser than oil. Or if oceans were made of mercury? Don't try this at home, everything would float. Even you. But, you know, you'd die from the poison, so maybe Maybe let's not. Floating ice helps regulate Earth's climate. When sea ice reflects sunlight, it keeps the planet cooler. If it all melted and sank, we'd be in trouble. Also, if ice sank instead of floated, lakes and oceans would freeze from the bottom up. Fish would have nowhere to go in winter. So yeah, it's essential for life on Earth. Bonus, can icebergs tip over? Here's something wild. Icebergs can flip. And when they do, it's not gentle. When part of an iceberg melts underwater, it changes the center of gravity. That's when the whole chunk can suddenly roll over, sending out waves, splashes, and some serious chaos. Some of these flips are so powerful, they've capsized boats. Imagine chilling on your Arctic cruise and, whoops, the ice decides to roll. Also, freshly flipped icebergs look shockingly blue underneath. That's super compressed ancient ice that hasn't been weathered by the sun. It's beautiful, deadly, and very, very Instagrammable. Weird, but true. Icebergs have accents. Okay, not actual accents, but icebergs do speak through sound. Scientists record the cracking, groaning, and popping sounds they make using underwater Water microphones. It's called cryoseismology, a fancy word for listening to the Earth's ice complain. These sounds help researchers understand melting patterns, stress fractures, and even climate change indicators. So yes, some people spend their lives listening to icebergs moan. Science is awesome. Could we build with icebergs? Now, here's a crazy idea. What if we used icebergs as construction material? Believe it or not, during World War II, the Allies actually explored this. They created something called picrete, a mix of ice and wood pulp that was tougher than than regular ice and melted way slower. The plan? Build giant aircraft carriers out of it. Floating ice fortresses. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? The prototype worked, but the project was eventually shelved because, well, turns out maintaining a giant floating ice ship isn't exactly easy. Still, it shows how strange and strong ice can be when science gets creative. Final thoughts. Rocks sink. Ice floats. That's nature's version of a plot twist. It's all thanks to density, structure, and the weird physics of water. So the next time you see an iceberg, don't just think Titanic. Think, hey, that's science-defying expectations. Drop a comment below, have you ever seen an iceberg in real life? Like this video. Subscribe to YX for more surprising science. And don't forget to turn on notifications. You never know what might float next.